So if you're having the issue where you can hear the window index when you touch the pad, but the door doesn't come open, it can be on the inside too. We'll go over a couple of things that we can do to fix it. So the easiest fix is replacing the pad. You just take out those two bolts and then this will come out to this piece like this. And you can either clean the pad or replace the pad. They're pretty cheap. They're like $25. Uh, maybe you can get them for cheaper. Uh, if you want to clean the pad, you just take these little screws off, all six of these. And then you can just pull it apart. And you can see the little circuit board in there. You can clean it with some electrical cleaner. But that's the cheapest and easiest fix. And if that doesn't work, then we'll move to the next step. So we'll start by getting these off with a T27 bit. All right, next step I did was I took this off. Be careful with it. You don't want to try to break this. I'm not sure I may have cracked mine just a little bit, but not a big deal. Um, all I did was take like a little flathead piece and I just slowly pried and tried to be patient with it and until it popped off. Next, you're gonna to wanna to slide this piece out of the way. If you need to, you can pull this side off a little bit too. I just slowly like, worked until it broke apart. From there, you can slide this under and out of the way and then start working to push this piece off. So there's not a lot of room in here, so this is gonna take some getting into. You're gonna have to pop this a little bit so it's loose. That way you can maneuver this piece. Be careful with the tabs because this piece just pushes out. Get this out of the way. And now we're inside the car. We can pull this piece back. All right, now once you have this out of the way a little bit, you can see that you can pull this part right on the side over here. So disconnecting this is pretty simple. You're gonna have this piece in here. All you're gonna do is just pull up on this. You can use a screwdriver if you have to and it'll just pull right off. All right, to separate this, those little screws that were underneath, that's a T, uh, T10. t They're both T10s. You just unscrew those. This will come back out. It'll have like this piece just hooked right in here. The new one came with a new piece, so I'm gonna change this out as well. These will just pop out. You just push these down and you'll see that it just comes right out. Just push it right through. Let's see, easy. I'm gonna assemble this new piece. This just pops in place, just like it has on the other one. And then of course you'll wire up the emergency releases. These are gonna loop in just like this. When you're putting this back together, you're gonna to make sure that these are looped in the right way and also make sure that you loop this through this little tab. Otherwise, this thing's not gonna sit flush like it should. Now, I've already put this back in. This is easy to slide down and then clip that little piece that comes out there. But I will give you a tip. One thing you wanna do before you put these screws in is once you have this lined up and flush, if you're able to, I would reach around and grab that and make sure that these both work. So you should be able to feel some slack when you pull them and you'll hear them actually you'll hear them actuate in there. Otherwise you're gonna be like me taking this off four or five times uh, because they weren't set in place. Now if you want to check to see if your stuff is working, once you have that plugged in, you can take this, flip it up. All right, and then you will grab your pad over here, press it, and it opens. So now you know you have a new working one, and then from there, all you're gonna do is just put it all back together. Just how it came off. So, not too bad of a job, but it's kind of a tight space, so it's a little bit of a headache. But that's it, good luck. One last thing, when you're putting all this back together, make sure it works. But also, 
Make sure your emergency cables work as well. I've already checked mine, mine do. But you don't want to be in a situation where you need them and you come to find out that they don't work anymore.